People always ask me, Perp, why you pick the loadouts that you pick? Why you play the way you play? I wish I could see what's going on inside your mind. Well, today I'll show you. With the example I have here, I think you guys can understand a little better what's going on inside my mind. To be really honest, even I don't know why I threw that fire. Right here, I see that Lele is putting down a trap. And I'm like, mm, you know, I think it can make it better. Tisk, 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 Lele. Don't you know about the triple threat? Let me do it. Now I pretty much just rinse repeat until I end up with no more traps. Great, after all this preparation, finally people show up. At this moment, I still have two more traps to use. So I remember that there's a ladder in front of me that everybody likes to climb up. Lele already had that handle. So instead I placed them around the area. I normally wait for the enemy to give me their first sign where they're at, then I start to move.
I knew that staircase was gonna be used, damn it, Layla, you had to take it. Since I'm using concertina arrows, I can't just shoot willy-nilly, and I'm trying to figure out the most optical ways to hit my targets. Since he's still in the same corner, I figured I'd throw a concertina bomb to make sure I hit him. The role of a concertina arrow user is to pretty much take all of those annoying geeky corners and make them unusable for the enemy team. Using concertina in this way is kind of like a double-edged sword. It does obstruct your view as well. You gotta keep that in mind.
make sure you bring two or four ammo boxes with you. You'll run out of ammo a lot with this kind of loadout. I finally decided enough concertina bomb lamps time. Honestly, I can barely move at this point. In conclusion, nobody knows why Perp does his Perp things, not even Perp himself. But with this series, hopefully we'll be able to find out. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.